Today in the Pedal Vault, the XR Squealer. So here we have the pedal and I have to admit I really like the form factor. It's small, it's metal, it has a rubber back, really cool. I especially like the switch, at least for use with hands because it's working well very effortlessly. I really like this. So, apart from that, the XR Squealer is actually a clone of the Jack Mercer box, which is a distortion pedal, okay. And uh, we have a three-band EQ, low, mid, high, and a metal control, I think that's distortion, and a level control. Nothing too spectacular here, so let's head over to the EQ curve. Now this is a curve. We have 110 hertz, 760 or 800 and well 9.5k. And we have cuts at 220 and 2k. Okay, so first of all let's see what metal does. seems to boost the low frequencies a bit. So let's leave it at noon. Now low boosts this peak, mid boosts this peak and decreases the cuts. Now it's an enormously huge cut. Here it seems, no, not even here. Around here it seems to be even. Okay. Oh, what does low do when we increases the 200 hertz cut? Okay. Now high. Basically boosts everything here. When we it actually decreases the cut or gets totally rid of it. So I this is the most awkward EQ curve I've ever seen on any pedal. So now I'm eager to find out how this pedal actually sounds. <laughs>
you know, the funny thing with extra pedals is that I, when I first saw them, I thought, huh, those look like jack pedals. And jack pedals were my first pedals at all. Uh, my first ever, or at least my first serious distortion pedal was a jack bad fuzz. And I was too young to be able to dial it in. It sounded awful, but I thought, ah, it has to sound good. It was expensive. Initially, I sold it and now I kind of regret it because those have become pricey. Exa is actually making a version uh, called the Kamikaze and maybe someone of you has an Exa Kamikaze and wants to sell it to me. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Now, I've slightly driven off. Back to this pedal. Um, I had high hopes because I know Jack makes, or made, not sure, uh, awesome stuff. And well, this was one of the few occasions where I actually tried the pedal before shooting a review. And it was really meh. I thought, oh, this is not going to be a good review. And this was because I mostly used it in front of a clean amp. And in front of a clean amp, it does a rather normal job for a cheap distortion pedal. I have to admit it sounds digital, especially when you crank the highs, no pleasing highs. And then while shooting the actual video, I tried it in front of my to go driven amp and suddenly it sounded awesome. I really like that you get uh, only talking in front of a driven amp. I don't like it in front of clean amp. I don't like it in the FX return. Deal with it. Um, so I really like that you can dial in the lows quite drastic and you can also reduce them quite drastically. And the mid control has huge variety of tones uh, in the whole spectrum, although I think it's more audible in the first half and then maybe up to one or two o'clock. I really like all the different flavors you get out of this pedal. And well, the highs still sound kind of harsh when I dial them in, but I can dial them back or I can compensate somewhere else. So that's okay. A little bummer, but nothing that would me stop from using this pedal. So I can see this sound either as a highly recognizable standalone tone or in combination with a more generic or more modern or more chainsawy tone. And for sure this, uh, I'm very sure it will sound good. So can I recommend the Exa Squealer? If you want it to use as a classic distortion pedal, I don't like it. If you want to use it as a boost, yes. Especially when you get it cheap and I got this dirt cheap, I think it was a 35 euros included shipping. And that's a real bargain. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, do you own any other pedals from XR or Jacques or do you know those pedals? And if it's the Kamikaze, sell it to me. And what do you think about this pedal? How did you like the sound? And uh, if you want to support this channel, uh, you might want to check out the links in the description. Well, and with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.